Welcome to part two of the brick wall project. In this video, we're going to continue right where we left off. So let's get right back into it. Remember that the gap in between all of the bricks in row A is five steps wide. So actually what I want to do is I'm going to move this, I'm going to bump this up to six steps and then I can take three pixels off of the first and last bricks in row B and that will account for this last step. So let me actually keep this open so you guys can see what I'm talking about. What we have here is the brick, the first brick, and the last bricks in row B are half of the width of the normal regular brick. But because that will include the gap at the end of row A, in order to make them even, in order to make the rows equally sized, I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove three steps from the bricks, the first and last bricks. So I'm going to make that 12, and I'm going to make this one 12. Now I also have to make sure that I change my move steps to six steps in row B so that it's also even. So let me hit apply and let's see if this works. Uh, let me clear the stage. And in fact, before I even draw it, I'm going to attach row A and row B together. So that way we can see it drawn in one shot. So let's see what happens. Okay it actually is not a complete failure. The length of the rows are equal, but what happened is that when the sprite turns around and goes down, it's like it's been moved over by that little gap. So what I should do is I should probably move six steps before I even start drawing row B, and then I could start drawing it. Let me try this one more time. So I think that should work. Let me clear the stage, and when I draw it, look at that, it's perfect. Now in order to keep drawing rows, all I would have to do is bring over this turn and change Y and continue the process here. Oops, let me just remove this part. I think if I do this, it'll keep drawing the brick wall. And that looks perfect. But wait, where were we again? Are we using the even block? And the answer right now is no. So we need a way to keep track of what row we're currently on because remember, our draw brick wall block is going to have an input for rows. So we need a way to keep track of what row we're currently on so that we can draw as many rows as the user enters in the row parameter. So we could set up a temporary script variable, set it equal to one and increase it by one each time it draws a row until it reaches the final number of rows. But that functionality sounds very similar to that of the four block. Let's use a for block to go all the way from one up to the number of rows that the person has typed in. So I'm going to use the for block and it's not automatically imported into the project. So I have to go to the file menu and hit import tools and it's going to open the blocks that contain the for block. And it's found close to the bottom. Here we go. Now let's see, in my pen palette, do I actually have the block? No, so I have to create this block too. I have to create a draw brick wall with the parameter rows, rows. I know that's kind of tricky. This is going to be a command block in the pen palette and let's hit okay and there we go. So rows is going to be a number, so let me give it that type. And now what we wanna do is we wanna use this for block to determine how many times to do something like this. Actually, that's not entirely true, but let me keep going. So I'm gonna go from one, because you need at least one row, all the way up to the number of rows that the person types in. Now what we could do, like I said before, is when we draw a row that is odd, we can draw row A, and when we draw a row that's even, we can draw row B. Now the cool thing is I can use I to detect which row we're on and then I can use a conditional. So I'm gonna use an if and I'm going to check what the value of I is. Or sorry, I'm going to check if I is even. That's what I really should do. And if it's even, then I shouldn't draw row A because row B is going to be for the even numbers. And if it's odd, so it must be else, if it's not even, it must be odd. So else, I'm gonna draw row A. And it's gonna do the same exact thing. Let me hit apply and see if this works. Let's check this out. Actually, I'll leave it open just so everyone can see. Let me draw a row, uh, brick wall with a certain number of rows. And let's try seven rows and see if that works. Let me clear the stage 
And when I hit draw a brick wall with seven rows, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, perfect. Let's try three rows, see if that works. Let me clear the stage. One, two, three, perfect. Let's try an even number, six rows. And one, two, three, four, five, six, great. So that does it for the required portion of the lab, but I highly suggest you don't stop there. Try the take it further, because this one is a really good challenge. The problem has already been decomposed, and when you figure it out, you're going to feel extremely accomplished. See you all on page four.